What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some more WWE action figure news for you guys. Not only are some new series finally hitting stores, but we also have some new releases to talk about and to discuss. You know, what are they going to be? Um, what I expect out of these sets? And then we have, you know, of course a new ringside exclusive thing that we're going to be talking about. So I'm very excited guys. Let's go ahead and get straight into what I have for you guys today. So the first bit of news that I have for you guys is that Elite 66 is finally up for pre-order over at Ringside Collectibles. Dot com guys. You can go over there, use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% on this set. You can see that we have Kurt Angle, the phenomenal AJ Styles, my boy Kevin Owens, the Bludgeon Brothers, and Nikki Cross on this set. Really strong set. You know, again, it's all current guys, which is sort of disappointing unless they give us a flashback Kurt Angle, which I don't see them doing just because um, I, the picture, first of all, is not of him in a flashback attire. And um, I don't know, they've just been doing a lot of recent guys. They haven't been doing flashbacks the last couple series, so I guess they're going to continue continue that trend here, but I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see, you know, what figure attires these are going to be. Of course, we already know what Kevin Owens is going to be. We saw it at Mattel's um, you know, they did a display of Elite 66 at, I think, that British show overseas. And then they also did a uh, look at it at the Mattel store in California, I do believe, a couple weeks ago or something like that. Remember, he had the Yep, Yep, Yep shirt and all of that. So we've seen Kevin Owens. We also know what the Bludgeon Brothers are going to look like. You know, we've seen the renders from Comic-Con. We've seen the renders multiple times displayed. Um, we have not seen final products of these, however, so that'll be interesting to see, you know, what those finally look like when Ringside gets those final images, prototype images in. We will definitely be taking a look at those. So that figures, those figures should be really, really detailed, and those will probably be early contenders for figure of the year in 2019. And then, of course, Nikki Cross. We also know what she looks like. We've seen her render just like the Bludgeon Brothers. Of course, haven't seen the final product again, but the, when the prototypes are released on ringside or wherever they're posted, I will for sure let you guys know. But Nikki Cross, Bludgeon Brothers, and Kevin Owens, we all know what they're going to look like. But the remaining two, AJ Styles and uh, Kurt Angle, um, those two we do not know. I'm, I'm guessing AJ Styles, hopefully it'll be in one of his recent championship attires. I would guess around Mania 34. Maybe it'll be his light blue attire from uh, Fastlane or maybe, you know, something around um, WrestleMania 34 time. Or it could possibly be his black attire, you know, with the... Um, uh, Japanese letters on the, the side of his trunk. It'll basically be like his Elite 56, but in black and white, which I don't think I would like that too much. I want to see his colorful attires. I would like to see uh, maybe a 2016 attire. I just don't see him doing it, guys. It's kind of disappointing. I think they're going to give us, you know, another one of his uh, uh, his black attires or his blue attires, which is sort of crappy, but, you know, that's what he wears all the time. So my the biggest, the best bet would be um, his fast land attire, that light blue color, which is similar to the top talents, but I'd still like it anyways. Or we could possibly get, you know, a blue or black attire, which is most likely what it's going to be. But AJ Styles is always great. You know, we always love getting the AJ figures. They love to pump them out like John Cena's, it seems like nowadays. Every, like, four or five sets, he's he's getting a new figure. But that's not all the news I have for you guys. We also have some new images from Walmart. Um, these images, I don't think I know who gave me this image in the store because uh, it was from somebody on Twitter that got passed along and along, so now the name has just been lost. But I believe it was some guy in Ohio. He did find the Survivor Series Elites. He found Fan Central's. Uh, series 2 with Mojo Raleigh, Akira Tozawa, uh, Daniel Bryan, and then who was the last figure in that set? Comrella. So those four have been found as well as the Survivor Series Elites. You know, they were just in Canada, but now we are finding uh, all sorts of new figures and battle packs at Walmart all over the country. I think they've been spotted in California as well. WWE Then Now Forever Figures on Instagram also posted this photo, and he uh, posted a close-up image of everything, and, you know, he gave his feedback on the figures and he said that he feels like a lot of these are probably going to shelf warm and I could totally see that you know the the Mojo Raleigh and the Kira Tozawa and Daniel Bryan those aren't you know the Daniel Bryan's a flashback and I don't know if people will really recognize him on the shelf um, as far as Christmas presents go you know Mojo Raleigh the same way and Akira Tozawa I feel like Carmelo will probably be the first one to go I could be wrong about that that's just something that I've noticed and of course he also posted um, you know images of the battle packs we got a Seth Rollins and Edge battle pack which looks absolutely absolutely incredible. You know, we've talked about this battle pack multiple times here on the channel in different news 
related videos that I have done. Also, another battle pack in this set is Sting and Undertaker, which is a really great set as well. Both of these sets come with great accessories. You've got ladders and money in the bank. Also, on that Seth basic, you got a great head scan, the screaming head scan with the blonde streak. That's the first time we've actually seen that from Mattel, so I can't wait to get that in here. I've actually made a custom of that head before on my money in the bank, Seth. I may switch it out for the official Mattel one that way. You know, I can... Uh, Actually, you know, not have to worry about paint shipping or anything like that. But uh, that is a look at all of those new figures that are releasing. I can't wait. I actually checked my Walmart today. Couldn't find them, but hopefully here in the next few days or weeks, I will be able to track them down and get them in for Christmas, as well as Elite 64. I'm waiting on Elite 64 to finally hit retail. Hopefully those do as well. But the last bit of news that I have for you guys is this new WWE Championship Collectors Pack from Ringside. It's going to be a Ringside exclusive, just like the last belt pack. You know, that last belt pack had, what, the NWO World Heavy Heavyweight Championship, the Hardcore Championship, the SmackDown Live or SmackDown Tag Team Championship from the Ruthless Aggression Era. It also had the World Tag Team Raw Tag Team Championship from the Ruthless Aggression Era. And what was the last title? I can't remember what the last title was, but um, they had five belts in it, and it was a really great set. But you can see here we're going to get the Raw Women's Championship, the SmackDown Women's Championship, the Divas Championship, the NXT Championship, the updated version, not the classic version that Finn Balor or Seth Rollins held, but the you know the Bobby Roode, the Drew McIntyre, the Cian Almas, Aleister Black, Johnny Gargano NXT Championship. And then the last championship in that belt pack is the World Tag Title from the Attitude Era and the beginning of the Ruthless Aggression Era. And to be honest with you guys, I think this belt pack's a bit disappointing. I mean, I can see the NXT title. I can see both women's championships. But I think that the Divas Championship isn't that sought, out, sought after. I could be wrong about that. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys really want that belt. But for me, it's not a massive want in my opinion. Um, I think that that World Tag Title has literally come with so many different figures. I can't understand why they would stick that belt in that pack as well. It's just not one of the figures that, or figure belts that I would want. Um, personally, I think that we should stick maybe an oval Intercontinental Championship or a white Intercontinental Championship in there. I think both of those belts are pretty hard to come by. The white Intercontinental Championship is starting to go down, I think, because it's starting to get pumped out more and more, you know, as Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose have starting to get getting those figures out more often. But um, I think that even the spinner belt could have been put in uh, in one of those belts' place, just because, you know, it's been a while since we've got the spinner championship, um, and I think that that would have been better belt options. Let me know down in, the, down in the comment section below what you guys think about that. Do you think they could switch it out for one of those belts and it would be a better pack? Or do you think that it's good to keep the World Tag Title? I think the World Tag Title, I have like 20 of the World Tag Title. And we have seen that figure belt with multiple, multiple figures in the past. So I don't know why they'd give that. You know, the Raw Women's Championship and the SmackDown Women's Championship are pretty much Walgreens exclusive only. So I can see, you know, why they would put that in there. Divas Championship, eh, I just, I don't, I don't see a reason for it. Everybody hated that belt anyways. And then the NXT Championship, you know, it comes with a couple figures here and there. So I can see why that one would be. I think they're all Target exclusive as well, um, trying to get that belt. So I can see why some of them, but some are just, those two are just awful. But I think that's all of the news that I have for you guys today. I don't know if I covered Kurt Angle in the earlier segment of the video. I can't remember if I just, you know, said what attires I think it could be. But for Kurt Angle, I think it'll probably be his WrestleMania 34 or his Survivor Series 2017 attire. You know, that's the picture that it shows on Ringside's website. So, But that, those pictures have been wrong in the past, so it's not, you know, a definite that it could be that attire. But I would guess, you know, either his match where he tag-teamed up with Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania 34, or it's going to be Survivor Series 2016. 16, um, and that's what I think about Kurt Angle. So if you guys uh, missed that or if I didn't mention that, that is what I think it will be. But that's pretty much all of the WWE action figure news that I have for you guys here today, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have found Fa uh, Fan Central Elite Series 2. What do you think of Elite 66? What figures out of that set are you going to be getting? Let me know down in the comment section below also about those belts. What do you think about the new belt pack? Do you think they could replace them or do you think they should replace them? Do you Are you hyped for that pack as well? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.